Tom Elliott also making a mess of airports. You're taking a live look right now at Syracuse Hancock International Airport tonight. Airports across the country have seen more than 8,000 cancellations today. Impacts could trickle on for, for days. Airports, are, including Syracuse, are asking passengers to double check their flight info directly with your airline before heading to the airport. That is very sound advice there because we are going to be seeing travel impacts, whether it's by air or by ground, for uh, for several days. Here across the Northeast, you're definitely going to see some um, some delays, maybe some cancellations as well because of the system holding its grips on the Northeast as it starts to pull away. And that's for tomorrow. As we get into, um, let's say, the Midwest tomorrow, you're also going to see some impacts as well. Um, it may not look like you've got a ton of snow here. Looks like all the snow is up there across the Great Lakes. That's a little deceiving because there is snow on the ground here and it doesn't take much um, in the way of a wind to cause poor visibility when you've already got snow on the ground and that wind will be howling. So that could also impact you up here across the Midwest um, if you're trying to fly by air. Now we've got the blizzard conditions. Fly by the air. Lake well, see, that's, that's, that's the thing. If, if you're going to... Absolutely. During the winter time, if you're going to fly by air, there's going to be problems.